Welcome to this Tutor to You revision video that looks at global pressure and surface winds. This is part of Paper 1, Unit A, The Challenge of Natural Hazards. Global pressure belts and surface wind patterns influence the weather, and in particular precipitation. We're going to start off by having a look at pressure belts. Descending air means high pressure so there are no clouds and rain whereas rising air means low pressure, which results in plenty of clouds and rain. The atmospheric circulation results in high pressure at the poles, so they are very dry. A low pressure belt runs around the globe at about 60 degrees. This makes locations such as the UK wet. There is a band of high pressure around the tropics, so they are dry, with most of the world's hot deserts found in these regions. Finally, the equator has a band of low pressure, so it is very wet. This means much of it is covered in our world's rainforests. These pressure belts move north and then south over the year. The movement of low pressure bands from the north and then to the south of the equator explains why some countries are dry for most of the year, but then experience two rainy seasons. Wind is the movement of air from high pressure to low pressure. Surface winds are part of global atmospheric circulation and are vital in moving heat and water vapour from one place to another. Surface winds blow from the tropics to the equator are dry, affecting the climate of the countries they blow over. Surface winds are also known as trade winds, as they were used to determine where sailing ships could travel easily to trade. These winds curve as they blow across the surface because they are distorted by the rotation of the earth. Trade winds in the tropics blow tropical storms from east to west. So how does global pressure and surface winds result in global variations in weather? Well, at the equator, rainfall is high and constant all year round. Here, water vapour gets converted into convectional rain droplets. The intertropical convergence zone, also known as the ITZZ, is a low pressure zone around the equator. Short bursts of torrential rainfall are caused by air rising, which forms areas of low pressure. Tropical storms occur here and can travel away from the equator once they have gathered enough energy. In coastal areas of Western Europe, rainfall can be high. This is due to the jet stream moving across the Atlantic Ocean, picking up moisture and forming depressions, which can lead to storm formations. Around the tropics of Cancer and Capricorn, the rainfall is quite low. This is where many of the world's deserts are located. And at the poles, very little precipitation occurs. What does occur falls mainly as snow. That concludes this Tutor to You revision video focusing on global pressure and surface winds. Thank you for watching.